Ursula von der Leyen then having to weather the storm around vaccine fallout, Maria. How is she doing? Well, not great this morning, uh, and pretty much on a media blitz across all European newspapers. And this was an interview that I, I understand that was organized yesterday pretty much out of the blue by her team that decided to call up the correspondents from big newspapers because she wanted to send a message to all the European capitals. She's coming under pressure over the AstraZeneca fallout for taking an offer that many still believe is not good enough. She's also taken heat for not just not taking responsibility. Essentially, that's, that's what it is. Anna. You know, many do criticize that she doesn't fully get the implications of the job that she has, the situation that happened on Friday that could have triggered a diplomatic incident on the Irish border, too. That's something that some still believe she should have taken responsibility for that. Instead, there's this idea that she's almost trying to deflect everything away from her. And also just this perennial criticism that when it comes to herself underlying, there's not a lot of scrutiny over what she does or says, because we never see her. You know, she never tends to speak to the press whenever she does. Us. She likes to do it in a way that's very controlled by her, and all of this is now coming to some extent to boiling point because of the AstraZeneca situation. And, and how, in terms of the rollout of vaccine, how does Europe get to 70% vaccination, given how slow the process is? And we've heard these targets from Germany this morning. How, how do we get there? We have to have to speed things up, I suppose. Well, and, and her message this morning, and to some extent she's lucky that Angela Merkel, who is still very much uh, the chancellor of Germany and still very much in power, is repeating the same lines, so that's offering her a lifeline for all we know. But the two are saying by the time we get to summer there will be herd immunity because the numbers that we see right now do not really reflect the pace that we can get to when we have more vaccines approved, when we get mass distribution, when we scale up, and when we're able to do this to a mass public. The uh, early stages were always going to be difficult. But we know that this is going to speed up. To some extent, Anna, what I would note is that right now in Europe, what we're seeing from a number of names from Novartis, Sanofi, also Bayern jumping on this, making vaccines from rivals to scale up. So it does seem that the effort is heading into that way, too. If there's any partnerships that can help to big up the numbers, then that's the way to go. But again, if you look at the numbers that we have right now, it does seem that we're a long way away from 70 percent. But that is the number that will make, uh, to, to some extent, uh, Ursula von der Leyen make or fall. If she gets to 70 percent, you could argue that a lot of this will be forgiven.